Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I'm gonna plop down this cliff since I cleared out that area right there and jump into the bubbly pool and press R to go down if you don't recall how to swim in the last part. There's not really much down here in the cliff springs. Just a whiplash, a bunch of bubbles. You can't attack while you're underwater, so you're pretty much dodging most of the time. Where should I go next, actually? Maybe up to the farm itself to get... Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll go down here, because I don't think you need to move up there to get the stuff down here. I'm, I'm at full health, aren't I? Well, I will be soon. <laughs> I was going to say, is it worth collecting that honeycomb or just leaving it there? I don't know, because I wasn't really paying much attention to my health there, and I know I didn't take all that many hits. I heard a Jinjo. There you go, just sitting on top of the barrels of apples. That's a... That's one of those two health that were that Bazai was talking about before the recover your health by two, obviously. There's another two. And some trees you can go behind, others you can't. It's a, another thing of the perspective, I guess, that kind of messes with you. <laughs> this game is pretty good overall, but the perspective is the only thing that kind of irks me a little bit. I know that the perspective is kind of a unnecessary evil because of the limitations of the Game Boy Advance. And it's not all that invasive because of the fact that, you know, you can just keep trying walls until you can jump up them or something like that. Not that one, of course, but I mean just other ones in general. Anyway, I'm kind of babbling. This is a grunt weed. You just let them fall like that. They try to stomp on top of you, and they do a pretty bad job of it. <laughs> you just kind of bait them into falling down, and then you kill them. Oh, the poor sheep! Well, gonna have to take care of him. Oh, pff, that was just terrible on my part. <laughs> and they're free! Free! But strangely, despite them being free, watch what they do. They split up, and they stay in the pen. I don't get that. <laughs> anyway, let's move on and not question the sheep logic. Uh, let's go down here. See what's in the store for us. There's a hundred notes in each world, by the way, including Spiral Mountain. Uh, ten, no ten jiggies per world, and uh, you can actually check your totals here by pausing the game. You can also save your game as well on one of the three save slots. This is what the totals look like, basically. It's a handy-dandy little checklist of sorts, and there's a lot of stuff I got to collect in this game. Oh, I love collections! It's gonna be fun! Uh, you can also change the options of the game, but I'm fine with the default options for the sake of the walkthrough pacing. I already checked that ahead of time and it seems good as is. So let's flop down here and oh look at that, we're all the way back to the starts. Is there anything that I missed over here before I move on to the farm? Just some, well, I guess just not. It was just a, a loop around I suppose. So off to the farm we go! Because I don't think I'm missing any other areas. Where is that bridge to the cliff farm? There we go. Farm Heights. Um, I'll obviously be swimming through the uh, river later once I'm able to hop in. But as of right now, nope. There's fences in the way and you can't jump over those fences because of the perspective. <laughs> oh no. More stuff to collect. <laughs> As I said, lots of stuff to collect in Banjo-Kazooie games, but I love collection games. They're, they are my forte because I like exploring. And I love platforming, so this is right up my alley. Yeah, her name is Mama Clucker. You would uh, do well to memorize the names of stuff in this game as you go because, well, I'm not going to spoil it, but believe me, you will need to know the names of the stuff that the game is telling you along the way. It's something that I don't want to spoil. And here's the, the chicks that you need to bring back. There's one of five. But I'm not going to spoil it because it's, it's pretty entertaining when it happens. I'm going to go this way first, actually, because that way is upstream. And look out for pff, Whiplash's perspective. Not your friend in this game. I actually didn't like this game way, way back as a kid. It might have been because of the perspective, but I don't remember exactly why I didn't like it. So I popped the game in just recently, and I loved it, and I'm playing it now. 
<laughs> because I, I like I played it like two weeks ago or so, and I 100%ed it very quickly. It's a pretty short collection game of sorts. So, uh, as I said, I, I did it really quickly. So I thought I would do a walkthrough on it while the game is still fresh in my mind, and here I am right now. And I gotta go back upstream. But yeah, I just could not remember why I didn't like this game as a kid, so I popped it in, because, you know, how else are you supposed to remember unless you pop the game back in, and... <laughs> I liked it. Maybe it was just my younger gamer self not liking this game because I was a more immature gamer or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, go all the way up here. There's a Jinjo. Woo! That's four or five. And notice the perspective. Can't jump up there. Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> As I said, perspective, not all that good. But I'm going to stop picking fun at that now, and, you know, unless I make a mistake via the perspective and whatnot. Um, let's see, what can I do here? I'm trying to think of how I want to divide and conquer this farm here, just to make things easy to follow, I guess. And there's another chickadee. Chickadoo. Yeah, there's, remember this hole. If I were a little smaller, I might just squeeze in there. Hmm. Remember that hole. Very important. Especially if you want to 100% this. Mini game time! Oh, Banjo. With all the baddies. A bow. <laughs> yeah, it's a bunch of bah puns. Sh puns in this. Uh, you basically move left and right. Press the B button to cast, hold the B button for a longer cast, release it short. You, you see that meter at the upper left corner? It's self-descriptive once I start getting at this. There's three different ranges that you can shoot your catcher at. And the shortest range is, of course, the ones closest to Banjo. And I'm gonna aim for the furthest one, so I gotta hold it the longest. Got it! Mid-range for the middle ones. It's basically like that. Grab all the sheep you can. Get the sheep. We must return the sheep to the pen. And I am messing up this mini game. You can collect multiple sheep at once, actually. And you can also move while you're casting your line, although it's a little bit slower. Just watch your line, and you should be okay, even though I'm not doing all that well. Grrr, curses. Curse my terrible timing. Maybe I can get the rest in time. Maybe! Oh, I got two at once there. Two remain. Seven seconds. Can I get them? Can I get them? Probably not. Oh, boy. Nope. I'm gonna have to retry that. It was a little wooly. So many sheep puns. Alright, let's give it another try. That was awful. Terrible. Hey, yeah, yeah, sheep dip. Blah, 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 blah. I wish I could skip the dialogue. Oh, there we go. Go! Catch all the sheep you can! I think there's only 12 sheep in this farm, actually. Come to think of it. But I remember once you get down to the nitty-gritty, it's like they, they start coming at a much lower rate. Ooh, got two at once there. Whoop! Dang it! Hate how they move so haphazardly. <laughs> Dang it! Arr. Must get all the sheep back to their pens! Yeah, I gotta wait. Time better. There we go. Boop. There we go. Now I'm getting the hang of it. Two left. 14 seconds. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait for that other one to go around. Oh, shoot! No! Shooty, shoot, shoot! Okay, got it. Need the middle sheep. Middle sheep. Yeah! Just in time. Bravo! Here we go. And you get a jiggy for that. For helping the sheep. And you can't play this minigame again, or at least not right now. You'll see what I mean later on. And I mean much later on. Anyway, let's go back down here, and... I should probably go climb up on top of the roof here using these hay bales, because, uh... There's something way, way, way up on top of the silo. Another uh, hollow honey honeycomb. <clears throat> uh, I'm just trying to clear out the farm in sections at a time, if at all possible. New move! Oh, I'm way ahead of the uh, curve here. Sweet! We got a new attack! Sure, why not? And now that I have this move, I can do that, 
and make notes appear. Well, that's what that one does at least. But now that I did that, what I'm gonna do is go inside the cliff farm. And... Oh, wait, wait, going too far down, dang it. In here, there we go. Bluff Barn. There's a staticky switch, I mean a staticky panel there, and another roll switch. And thus it turns into a grunty panel that transports you to Klungo's lab and the game's first boss! Okay, I, I, was, I made that sound way, way too exciting. This is Klungo, and he is your first boss. Wait, I already introduced Klungo in the last part, didn't I? <laughs> so yeah, he apparently makes the baddies around the area. Alright, bring it on, Klungo. And I'm going to test out my new role on you as well. And he's going to be throwing some po potions at you, and you can't attack him while his force field is up. He, he throws three potions, then he lets down his force field. You'll see. Just watch. Force field. One. Two. Three. And then he runs away. And you hit him. Now he's going to repeat it. Except this time he's going to throw three potions and run towards you with the force field up. And then he's going to throw three more potions. And then he's going to drop it. And the pattern is going to repeat for the... Uh, the third one here, and if you if you take some damage, as, as you can see, there's some honeycombs off to the edges of the screen, so you can just simply jump up onto the platforms. No biggie. They make sure that the, this boss is nice and easy for the early game. Maybe one more time. Very, very predictable. He just walks towards you. You just gotta lead him around the edges of the room. And we're good. Oh, oh missed. Yeah! He's done! Not on my watch. Gotta protect my own skin. And with that, you get a Jiggy and a Mumble token. And I think these are stuff that he's making, like enemies that he's making in his lab here. I think those are you know, like gruntlings or grunt weeds that are sprouting. It's kind of hard to tell, actually. But anyway, press A button to get back through this panel. You can't go back to the boss area if you press the A button. Um, that's okay. I'm just gonna collect those. And so apparently those tokens represent magic of some kind as well. Everything is magical in this game. <laughs> and boop. And I'm gonna collect this chickadee over here. Four out of five. We are close. Just gotta make sure that I get everything up. I'm backtracking. <laughs> Must collect every critter. And that's the water that we jumped in before to get the jiggy. It's, well, it's that river, I should say, in general. We followed it under the bridge. And there's the last one! Woo! This I can do. And... and not no there, okay. At least I don't think there's any. just want to make sure. I think this just goes around, yeah. Actually, it would be kind of a handy shortcut before I go into uh, Mumble's house there. And here we go! Oh, dang it! <laughs> I press the A button, I jump on their head. <laughs> that sounds delightful! Oh, it's just what I was looking for! <laughs> and pick that up. Anything else to say, just for the fun of it? I don't think so either. Anyway, let's go over to uh, Mumble Jumble's pad, because we are nearly done with the world, actually. Uh, totals, check the cliff farm here. All that stuff is uh, pretty much in the last area that I need to go in. Or, I should say last areas, excuse me. So go in here. <laughs> that is quite a different environment than what we've seen from outside here. And he's got speakers, a lava lamp. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't show his dialogue if you don't have enough of them. Oh, whatever. Because he, he says something different if you don't have a mumble token. Mumble tokens, you need to have him transform you into different critters. Yes, I would like to transform into a critter because I will be able to finish off the world. Mouse, please. Ooh, disco -y. <laughs> Yeah, 
And I'm still wearing the same clothing. <laughs> and remember I said to remember that little hole? Yup. And there's a certain range that you can go outside of uh, Mumble's magic, so keep that in mind. But where we're going, we don't have to worry about that whatsoever. Um, he, this mouse has no attacks whatsoever, though it can chew things. So be very careful in using this mouse. I'm going to have to sneak past this Gruntling and go inside this hole. Because you might have noticed that hole before as we went in here. Shinjo! That's right near the entrance on our way out. And I will be there shortly. Because I'm nearly done with this world, as I said. Woo. And going around here, you want to go... Where was that hole again? Ah, here it is. Inside... Come on, there we go. <laughs> the Crag Mill! There's yet another hollow honeycomb. I believe that is all of them in this world. And go down here. These gears don't hurt you whatsoever. They're just there to be... Fancy, I suppose. <laughs> go out here, you pop out that hole. And I got all the notes! Woo! A world record! And chew this. It'll start making that platform go up and down. Don't worry about this platform squishing or anything. Watch this. You just go right through the platform. <laughs> and there is the ninth jiggy. Let's. Oh, shoot! Didn't mean to fall on that hole. I gotta go all the way around again. Flop back up here, there we go. Yeah, you can't jump high enough to get out of that hole normally. And let's go back to Mumbo and get ourselves back to Bear and just Bear. <laughs> I think you know what kind of reference I was trying to make there if you played other uh, Banjo-Kazooie games. At least I hope. <laughs> And bear. Yay! Wah! And let's get out of here. Because if you look at your totals, look at the poop you got. Yep. Looks good to me. And. Yeah, it's going to be a long way back to the uh, start of the level, I suppose, but I'll take you along for the ride, why not? Strangely, the front gate is closed there, and you have to take the long way around to go. Oh, shoot, I took the wrong path. <laughs> Curses! Remember, I just beat this game 100% recently, and I refreshed myself on it recently, so things are still a little bit foggy. Uh, Game-wise, when it comes to this, I'm bound to make little mistakes like that every once in a while. Here we go. I think that front gate would open once I finish the area, but nope, it doesn't. <laughs> uh, all the way down here, and... Rower to you, too. <clears throat> Wait a second, am I going the... Hot? What What did I take damage on there? <laughs> did I take damage from the whiplash as I bounced off it or something? Anyway, there's the last Jiggy. next world and just for good measure yeah! <laughs> and with that I think I'm gonna end off the part I hope you enjoyed I'll see you in the next part when we start the Brigal Beach